All right, guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to jump on super quick, talk about a product that is currently doing some amazing rounds all around the world and is gaining popularity by the second. Of course, it is the truly amazing Dress V2. Um, and we do get a few kind of probing and loaded questions with people because 99.999% um, of uh, products out there for your tire, rubbers, trims, anything like that are sacrificial. So. I thought, let's do a mini deep dive, talk about it, dress some perfectly prepped tires, and of course, show you the after effects. So as you all know, I've been absolutely banging the nail home. Hopefully it's gone through the floor and all the way to Australia by now. But as you know, I say Dress V2 is a restorative product and not a sacrificial product. Now, what is the designation between those two terms? Now, um, a sacrificial product, as you know, I'm about to hit you with a corker. Um, I am the king of analogies, so here it goes. A sacrificial product is when um, a woman will put on some makeup, she will, at the end of the night or whenever, take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. Basically, that is it. It's not affecting really your skin in any way. Now, whereas this, this is an actual true moisturizer. So a moisturizer, as you know, it will start to seep in to your face, to your hands, whatever you moisturize, and the more you use it, the better your skin becomes. Same concept with your rubber. Your rubber is your skin. In fact, it's just as porous as your skin, if not more porous. So by actually feeding the rubber, it's the best thing that you can do to it, rather than just slapping on a product that you then take off in a week or two time and repeat the process. You will see that a lot of tires out there will um, start to have blooming, browning, and that's because the the tire is actually rejecting sacrificial products over time. And no matter what you hit with it, it will never truly remove it, but it will never truly bond again because of the browning. So Dress V2 contains a lot of acrylic resins and a lot of restorative silicates. Now, what does that mean without hitting you with all the big important words? Our goal as true connoisseurs and enthusiasts is to keep this tie wall as supple as possible, give it a nice uniform finish, give it a hydrophobic finish, it's very important. So the more you use it, the less product you use to clean the tires. And overall, what you will notice, five, 10, 15,000 miles, depending on the brand of um, tire that you're using, you will see that cheap derived silicon based and kind of petrochemical um, tire dressing that you find at the usual places in the UK, I'm not going to mention them, um, you will see that some tires actually begin to crack. And that's because the rubber gets dried out, obviously heat, cold cycles, all that type of stuff. The rubber will eventually have to crack, same as your skin. Um, if your skin is too dry, it begins to, crap, uh, to crack, mainly on your lips. So with Dress V2, I'm going to show you a real kind of easy to follow guide of what to do. I have, again, just picked up a brand new hex grip applicator just for this purpose, because a lot of people also misunderstand what brand new foam can do and what it can't do. So the first thing, obviously because of the resins and the moisturizers, the first thing you want to do is being sat in your cupboard a week, two weeks, depending on how much you kind of wash and dress your tires, Regardless of how long it's been sat, with any product I would advise in our range, pick it up and give it the biggest shake. Think of your boss or something. <laughs> um, give it a good shake. It really activates um, all the kind of raw materials in case anything has actually kind of floated to the bottom, floated to the top. You just want to shake it up. It's going to obviously turn into a nice creamy texture. Beautiful. Now, fresh foam. What can it do? What it cannot do? The more you use an applicator without washing, um, i.e. a tire hex applicator, you will see that um, you actually start to use less and less product over time because obviously it's seeping in. But a fresh applicator, fresh foam is the driest, the most receptive kind of sponge material. So on your first go, maybe even on your first two goes, dependent on the ambient temperatures, um, you want to actually use probably about 1.5 times the amount that you would normally use. So as you can see, I've overloaded the pad with way more than I actually need. But the reason for this is, when you butterfly it like this, this is called the butterfly effect, what you will notice is it actually looks like I actually haven't put that much on, okay? Now with your sponge that, again, looks perfectly uniform, what you want to be doing 
is again, just rubbing it in. As you can see, just look at the change instantly in the tires. Now, as I'm doing this, I will tell you a few tips. This is going to be the worst, the first, I would say 60 seconds, maybe even two minutes will be the worst the tire will ever look. Again, you put no pressure on, you just basically, you dress the tire, okay? Make sure you get into the lip. That's what you want to do, just like that. Now, the reason why I said it's going to be the worst is because the actual product and the rubber, they reject each other, okay? And sometimes on super hyper protected, you know, 50 applications of Yum Dress V2, you will actually see the reaction happen more aggressively. Do not touch it. After about 120 seconds, you will see that the tire starts to level off and that's because the actual uh, rubber is beginning to absorb the product. So once you're happy with it, you, you, you just wanna go in circles, counterclockwise, clockwise, really doesn't matter before anybody comes in and says, you've got to do it this way. Do it in a circle, whichever way your hand leads the best way, um, just keep it to that. Now, as you can see, all of the stuff you saw from about 15 seconds ago is completely gone from the, the foam pad and has gone into the tire wall. Now, again, as I said, I'm gonna just use slightly more, probably on the first set of tires, just get the product into the rubbers and into the fresh foam. Now again, you will notice, I hope the camera's picking it up. It's got like a, you know, if I was to dab it out, look. All right, it's got a bluey hue to it, okay? Watch this, best way to do it. I'm just pressing it on. See that the fact that it's being rejected straight away, there's a, a rejection happening. If I was to leave that for about two minutes, it would actually completely soak into the rubber. But I just, rather than doing that, first of all, I want to even it and let it soak in. Now, the beauty of this product is it gets better the more you use it. Your first use is great. You're on the right path. The 10th use, even better. But when you start doing it weekly, obviously, you need to clean your tires weekly. If you don't, you need to look yourself in the mirror and have a word with yourself. Uh, but after every maintenance wash, whenever that is, basically, whether you do it weekly, bi-weekly, um, apply this. And what you will see, you've seen many videos. I mean, just look at it. Even in its most raw form, you know, in the worst form, just look at that. It's not matte. It's not cheap. Look at me, fish and chip shop shine. It's just slab bang in the middle. I'll probably say maybe a notch over the middle as it settles. Um, but it's just perfect right off the bat. There's no grease. Oh, now these tires are just beautiful. Look at that. Fantastic. So I'm going to do even one better. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to leave this like I recommend on the labels on the website and the videos. I'm going to leave this for as long as possible. I say if you can give it, you know, overnight, 12, 24 hours, whatever, up until you next drive the car, um, the better it looks. So I'm going to... Hold the camera here. I'm gonna leave it in place exactly at this angle. I'm gonna obviously turn it off. I'm gonna come back exactly tomorrow. So it's about, what, 3.30 p.m. today. So 12 hours, three in the morning. So it's probably gonna be like 18 hours by the time I get into work. And I'm gonna press record and we're gonna talk about how it's supposed to look, why it's done what it's done overnight, and obviously how the tire looks and how every tire on any car should look. I'll catch you guys soon. All right, guys, good morning. So it has been around 15, 16 hours. As you can see, the tire has slightly changed the characteristics. When we applied it from yesterday, you had it um, looking like it was slightly wet, a little bit glossier than usual. Now, of course, the product was wet on the tires. Now, overnight, this has actually had time to do its actual job. So it has soaked in to the substrate of the rubbers. It feels very smooth now, but most importantly, there is no grease. Now, a little side tip here. Um, some people like to do this, some not. Now, what I do out of just pure habit, you take one of our 
uh, wheel and tire towels, as you can see like this. And what I like to do, this is just habit. I'm going through that process to get to 100%. Literally, I'm not buffing nothing there. As you can tell, there is nothing to buff. But I just do a once round, look, light. Boom. Now, what that does is it takes it from the right in the middle scale of kind of shiny to completely matte. So middle plus one to right back down to about the middle to maybe middle minus one. So that's just the way I like my tires. Um, just in case, obviously in the summer months, um, I also do this to me to get obviously pollen, stuff like that. So I just give it a one time. I put no pressure on, as you can see, there is completely nothing on the tire anyway, which is a perfect example of like, there is no, high spots, it's not greasy, it's nothing like that. Um, and that is how your tires should look. Go and tell your friends, go and tell your mom and dad. <laughs> Show them this final clip. This is how a tire, a professionally dressed tire should look. Now for your subsequent washes, this is where the product really truly begins to kind of shine in its own light. You're going to then of course use undressed. Yes, you use that product every time you do a maintenance wash because of course you should be doing your wheels and tires. Now that's going to knock off probably 75 to 80%, okay? So you're not knocking the full 100 back. Now at this 20%, you're then going to redress to make it 120, knock back 80, and so on and so forth. But you've always got that little bit of a base layer always left. Now over, as I mentioned earlier in the video, over the subsequent you know, weeks and months of you using it, when you start rinsing your tires, you will see that the tire um, gains the characteristics and the properties of almost as if the paint has been ceramic coated. So it's extremely hydrophobic, it's extremely repellent, whilst most importantly, remaining looking like a satin finish. Now, if you had a glossy and you put water on, of course it's gonna repel because it's full of cheap silicon oils. Now to get a tire like this, ultra hydrophobic over the long period of time, is just truly mind-boggling um, very nice and this is where people will all of a sudden start commenting on your tires why do your tires look so good how do you main your tires how do you clean them so fast because don't forget when I've been harping on about this for you know years now when you have a brand new fresh tire this is your ultra ultra important possibility and opportunity to get the tire down to the bare kind of zero percent and then start building it up. At this point, anything that now latches onto it, whether it's pollen, dirt, mud, anything like that, it's not going into the rubber. It's sat on, on top of V2 dress. So this is where you start getting your maintenance a lot quicker, a lot faster, and of course your car. I mean, I think this look is just super nice. You know, it's like a sharp dress suit, nice pair of shoes, just classy, clinical. And yeah, that's how tires should look. Hope you found this video informative, as always, um, and I expect to see people who use our product ties like this. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.